Imagine a 3D object in space. To find out how a third angle orthogonal works, I place a glass box around the form. Each pane of glass will act as a projection plane on which I will draw each view. Consider the top view. This is the view seen from above. Lines are projected upwards from the object onto the glass to form the top view. Next, we move to the front view. This is the view that will appear below the top view in the completed drawing. Lines are projected outwards from the object to the glass. This forms the front view. Lastly, we consider the side on the right of the object. This face will form the right side view. Lines are again projected outwards to the glass and construct the right side view. And there we have three views projected onto viewing planes, the top, the front, and the right side view. Of course, there is a back, a left, and a bottom view too, but we usually consider three views enough. To form the finished third angle orthogonal, let's take away the object and get ready to flatten out the views. I start to unfold the box. But notice how the front view is attached to the top view. The front view remains below the top view. The right side view is also attached to the front view. It remains on its right side. As the drawing flattens, I rotate it until it's sitting in the correct position. Note the top view is always on top. The front view is always sitting directly underneath it. And the right side view is always to the right. Let's take away the glass now. Here is the drawing taking shape. Note the labels given to each view. They're drawn in sans serif capitals. And do you see some different kinds of lines? If you look carefully, you'll see three different kinds of lines. Thick continuous lines for outlines, thick dashed lines for hidden details and thin chain lines for centers. Different kinds of lines are part of the Australian standards conventions we follow in VCD. After we have labels on our views, it's time to dimension the drawings. Dimensions tell people the sizes of the objects and parts of it. I have shown some overall and some intermediate dimensions. I've also dimensioned the diameter of the circle and the radius of the arc, the rounded bit shown in the front view. Finally, we need to add a third angle orthogonal drawing symbol. This tells people how to read the drawing. Add the symbol in the upper right corner. Remember back to the cube at the start? It tells people how the drawings relate to each other. Then there is the title bar. I've given the drawing the name third angle orthogonal. I've shown that it's at a scale of one to one. This means the object is at the same size as the drawing. I've also told viewers that the units mentioned in the dimensions on the views are in millimeters. This is the standard unit used industrial design. <laughs> 